everybody and welcome back to the seesaw it is sunday today so yesterday saturday i was going to go shopping caleb and i went to he had a football match in the morning i got we got absolutely soaked we got home had some lunch i sat down on the bed to do something the boys went off to a movie when they came back i was fast asleep and so i hadn't gone shopping hadn't gone to see my mum hadn't done anything that i was going to do yesterday afternoon at all so um yesterday became a bit of a non-starter um so i just went to the little grocery store in town we've got a small asda in our village and i popped in there and got stuff for dinner last night but then i went this morning we've been caleb's had a cross-country run so he belongs to a running group now and they do a winter cross-country league where they meet every month at a different location around the county and compete against other local running clubs um he's been doing really well it's for up to 16 year olds and he's just 13 or just, he was 13 in September and today he finished 30th and 5th I think for his club so um that was the best finish he'd had through the league this is the fourth event out of six um so it's been a busy morning and then we just stopped on the way back at Tesco's and got the rest of the shopping we do still subscribe to Club Card Plus, which is the extra club card that you pay a subscription fee for monthly. I think it's £7 something a month. Might be wrong. How much? £7.99, 7 a month. Um, and with that, we get extra data on our phone contracts. So we all have our phones with Tesco's, and so that's a benefit. Um, but you also, twice a month, get to take 10% off of your shopping. So I always make sure I shop at Tesco's. You have to shop in store to get it. It doesn't apply to online shops. Um, and we get the 10% off. So I used that today. I spent £127 and then I got the 10% off from that. So um, that was pretty good uh, for a Tesco shop and one where I've got quite a few extra bits and a few bits that are not at all related to groceries that were about eight pounds so when i take that off it brings it round down to just over the hundred pounds that i spent so let me turn you around let me show you what i got and then at the end as always i'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead okay so there's the sweep of everything that we got non-food items just the kitchen towels uh, TV magazine and then these were on club card special so Caleb is off in a month's time he's got a week skiing with his school they're going to the Italian Alps so he's very excited he's never skied before so he's really looking forward to learning um, and these were in Tesco's for five of these foot or hand warmers or a combination for the price of four and they're a pound each so five for four pounds so I got five of the foot and five of the hand and I thought like, he could take those with him. I've got him a little rechargeable hand warmer as well, but these will be useful um, just for when they're out and about. Probably won't need them while they're skiing because he'll be quite warm, but kind of in the evenings when they're out and about. I got, uh, these are limited edition at Christmas time, the Tassimo gingerbread lattes. So you can't get them all year round. So I've just got another pack of those. Just This is probably the last time I'll see those. Uh, Rubicon spring water, some natural spring water and some hydros for Caleb. Uh, Bluebell eggs, these were the only eggs they had in. They are more expensive. They are very nice eggs, I have to say, but they are the blue eggs. They're not duck eggs, they're blue chicken eggs. Um, so that was the only eggs they had in the whole store. So I just needed a few eggs and grabbed those. A uh, pack of macaroni two packs of sweeties, some fang tang fastics and some joysticks, uh, large tortillas, two packages of noodles, one of Caleb's favourite go-to snacks, the chilli ones and the champion chicken ones, crisps, I've got some dippers, some tortilla chip dippers there that I need for something during the week and then I got the Space Raiders pickled onion and the baked Watsits flaming hots. In the back there is a loaf of farmhouse white bread, some chicken stock pots, a couple of spices and herbs that I needed to um, just stock up on, garlic granules, parsley and smoked paprika, some milk chocolate digestives, a small can of tuna, some peri-peri, Nando's peri-peri rub and the fajita seasoning, some snack shortcakes and curly whirlies. Uh, is that it for the cupboard? No. Peri-peri mayonnaise and some Nando's peri-peri sauce. So we've seen on TikTok... Um, somebody making some kind of Nando's peri-peri style 
it's like mozzarella sticks. So we've got some baby bells. We're going to coat them in the Nando sauce and then the Nando seasoning and then air fry them and see what happens. And it's a bit of a TikTok thing. And so we're going to give them a go. Uh, but Perinés, I like that just as a side. Sometimes if I have chips or something like that. Uh, so sweet chilli sauce as we're out of that. And the Weetabix Crispy Minis, one of Caleb's favourite cereals. And they are on club card pricing this week. That's the only time I buy them because I think they're quite expensive. He will eat through that pack in just a few days. And so for me, that's quite expensive. <laughs> but they're £2 something at the moment on a club card deal. Uh, in the back there is some semi-skimmed milk, some sour cream, smoothies, a vanilla yogurt and a kvarg. Two of these Lindor's protein puddings. So Aldi does a very similar one in actually a slightly bigger pot. Uh, but these are really nice and they fill you up. Um, so for a pudding in the evening with some fruit, something like that, you can see they are 74 calories on there. But how, what is that for? Um, oh, let me see per serving 140 grams so 104 calories but they have extra protein in them 14 grams of protein so you feel fuller after eating them the baby bells to make the little mozzarella ball things some of the leodama cheese i like this cheese on toasties um because of all the sport caleb does so when he gets home from school he has a bit of a break and then he heads back out to sport three nights a week now we don't eat dinner until we get back because we don't get home in time to make dinner in time for him to eat and then have some time before he heads out to sport, if you see what I mean. So he's not eating and running straight out the door. So he often makes himself a kind of pre-dinner when he gets home from school. It might be something simple like noodles or sometimes he'll have a package of the kind of seasoned rice, which he cooks in the microwave, puts an egg on the top, something simple like that. But I like to have some variety of things in so that depending on what he feels like, he's got something to eat. So I spotted these because Otesco have this kind of new heat and enjoy range. Um, these are sweet and sour chicken balls. So crispy battered chicken balls with a sweet and sour sauce that he can easily do those in the air fryer. You can see they are, if I can get that off of there, one handed. They're just like the kind of chicken balls that you get from the takeaway. And they've got a sachet of sweet and sour sauce. And then in the same range, these peri-peri chicken wings, which he loves chicken wings and he loves peri-peri. So that's a good mix. And then I got one of the Rustler's classic hot dogs, just for something simple. Got some split corner yogurts, some cheddar and some mozzarella cheese mix um, in terms of grated cheese this week. Sandwich wise, I've got thin chicken slices, thin ham slices and some roast beef. And I've got a pack of the mini pepper army. They had a club card deal on this week too. For the freezer, I've got some watermelon lollies, some jacket potatoes. Again, something that Caleb might enjoy is a chicken and bacon pasta. It's just normal penne pasta with chicken, bacon and cheese. So that's all things that he likes. And it cooks from frozen in nine minutes. So that one is another good one for him. Some onion rings, garden peas and some of the naked oven chips. On to meat, we've got a package of mints. I've got two of these uh, medallion steaks, which for a um, cheap steak dinner is actually really nice. I think if you're doing something special and you want to buy a rump steak or a sirloin or a New York strip or something like that, that's great. But for everyday steak, these, I think, if you cook them really quickly, are excellent. So I've got a pack of those and a pack of pork steaks because Tony doesn't eat beef. Uh, two package of the chicken thigh fillets, the boneless ones. And a medium to sort of smallish size unsmoked gammon joint. Package of Maris Piper potatoes, some red onions, some sweet gem lettuce and some vine ripe mini tomatoes. Mint and dill for the guinea pig. Some Norfolk uh, baby potatoes. A bag of salad leaves. I just find that easy if I just want some salad leaves to put on a sandwich or in a wrap. Something like that that these bags of ready-made ones are easy because they last for a few days um, we enjoyed our cabbage this week so I've got another Savoy cabbage uh, a pepper they didn't have any um, packs of mixed peppers at all they just had a few random um, individual ones so I just got the one if I need any more I can pick them up during the week and then fruit I've got some bananas some grapes they didn't have raspberries or strawberries but they had this little pack of mixed berries, some raspberries and some blueberries, which were on a club card price. So I grabbed those. 
and then a pack of the just mini apples which are ideal for either Caleb to have an apple or for me to take to work I like them chopped up on top of porridge that sort of thing so that was everything we got I think if you count in the extras which were kind of the hand and foot warmers were eight pounds the gingerbread latte mix which wasn't essential was four pounds so and a few extra bits for Caleb this week that I wouldn't normally get that much stuff but that means he's got a base that I can then just add a couple of things next week to keep him stocked up on on options so I think actually it wasn't too bad um, but definitely noticing the prices of everything going up at the moment so on to our meal plan so last night we had the chicken pies uh, frozen chicken pies with new potatoes and vegetables tonight we're going to have the steak dinner so Caleb and I will have the beef steaks Tony's got pork steaks actually Caleb could have half and half if he wants We'll have some the naked chips, some onion rings, some peas, and I'll probably have some salad leaves and tomato with mine as well. Um, tomorrow night, we're going to have the gammon. I might cook it in the ninja, which comes out lovely, or I may cook it in the crock pot during the day. I'll just I'll decide when the day gets going what I'm going to do. We'll have that probably with some eggs on top, um, mashed potatoes, cabbage and peas. Tuesday I'm just going to make up a savoury mince which is just the mince in a gravy with some onions, peas, carrots, that sort of thing and we'll have that with new potatoes and carrots. Wednesday I'm going to make Mexican crunch wraps I'm going to use the chicken and the fajita spice uh, to make up a nice um, or some sour cream to make up a nice kind of Mexican style filling. Put that in the tortillas with some of the Doritos over the top and then fold them and just uh, bake them in the oven just to just to crisp up the outside of the um of the wraps so very um mexican tex-mexy style meal on thursday i'm going to make chicken kiev mac and cheese and we'll have that with broccoli so it's mac and cheese with chicken in it but i'm going to garlic up the chicken so that it's more like a chicken kiev and we'll have that with as i said broccoli and then friday night we're going to have a chinese takeaway we had one on christmas eve that we really enjoyed so i think i'm going to do that again on friday night this week so that is our plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and we look forward to seeing you back here on The Seesaw soon.